Hello Ghost Hunters! Have you been procrastinating playing your first game of Phasmo? Are you looking for the right guide on how to get started? Or are you worried these ghosts are just going to get the best of you? Well, I've developed a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to play your first few matches. This video is for brand new players, so if that's not you, bear with us for a bit. The first thing you should do is set up a game on amateur mode at Tanglewood. This is a small, balanced, and easy to navigate map, so it's great for beginners and experts. When you load in, take note of the objectives. Some objectives, like smudging the ghost or having the ghost step in the salt, may be unattainable because you haven't bought any items yet. But things like witness a ghost event or detect an EMF signature, these will be super easy way to build money. I would initially take the flashlight, photo camera, and EMF reader, then slowly and methodically start making your way through the house. Look for plates, cups, or picture frames that are on the ground, and listen for thumps or doors being opened. Wearing headphones will help with this. Use an EMF reader to confirm ghost activity. These will be indications of the ghost's favorite room. Taking a picture of the bone and cursed item are an easy way to make some cash as well. After you find the ghost room, you can drop your equipment in there and head back to the truck to gather more evidence equipment. If you see a ghost open a door, it's a really good idea to run to the truck and grab a UV light to see if you can get fingerprints evidence. The video camera will probably work best when handheld since you don't have a tripod yet. You could also try and set it on the edge of a piece of furniture if possible. Also remember the spirit box works best when the lights are off. Finally, the only evidence item that you won't have is the thermometer, but you should be able to tell freezing temperatures just by seeing your breath. At this point, you should have a good idea of what the ghost is. If not, don't get frustrated. Some of the ghosts can be stingy with their evidence. Just take your best guess. Your sanity drains pretty slowly on amateur mode, but ghost events and being in the dark constantly can drain it faster. If you want to avoid a hunt, simply leave the mission before your sanity gets below 60%. Very few ghosts can hunt before that, and even more have to wait until you reach below 50%. Still listen in case the front door slams. On this difficulty, that will give you at least five seconds to run to the nearest hiding spot before the ghost even starts hunting. Remember to be quiet though. If you follow these steps, you should build money and become familiar with the game through the first handful of matches. As you buy equipment and unlock maps and difficulties, you should be able to build funds faster and widen your skills. I'll leave a few links to some other helpful beginner videos in the description. I also have a series where I break down the characteristics of every ghost type in the game, which you may find helpful. Best of luck and thanks for watching. Until next time, have a good one.